All right, so now we're going to do the luminaire schedule, and we're going to be uh, basically entering the information about the lights that we're using into the luminaire schedule. So if we come over into here, we've got uh, type A, B, and C lights. So we need to uh, enter that information from our project specs into there. So type A, B, and C. If you look at the end of the project specs, we actually have the lighting types there. And so I'll show them for you here. This is type A. If you look at the, uh, the specs, I've in included the type right on the specs themselves. On every page of the specs, there's type A as well. And we go to this one. This is a type B. And the next page also says type B. And then we have the last one, type C. There's type C. And that's going to be our compact fluorescent that's recessed into the ceiling. That's for the hallways. Okay, so those are the three different light types that we're using. So we'll flip back and forth between um, this and AutoCAD. Um, so we're going to uh, you know, enter the um, appropriate descriptions or the model numbers for those particular luminaires. Now you can find that also in the project um, schedule, the, or the project specs. You might actually find it a little bit easier in the project specs. So let's open those up because we actually indicate the model number we're using, whereas in the, um, the luminaire information data sheets, it's a little harder to get the, the model number that we're actually using out of that. So let me open up the project specs here. Page 5, I believe. Hang on. Yeah, page 5. Here we go. So here's the model numbers that we're using for those specifications. So really, all I need to do is kind of copy and paste. I'm just going to copy the model number here. I'm going to go back to AutoCAD. I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to paste it in. And under the next line here, I'm going to put in the, uh, the type of luminaire that it was. So this was a Metalux. So I'm going to put Metalux in. Now I've, I've created an M text item. Okay, so I just typed in M text to create this. And what I did is I just grabbed one corner of that table and then went to the other corner. And that's how I'm entering in the, the data. So I can put it on multiple lines, which makes it really handy. And it also, I've got it uh, justified so that it's middle center. I'm going to justify it to middle center. And that way it'll be nicely um, aligned in that table. So type number B, again, I'm just going to go type number B is that uh, metal halide. going to copy, paste, and the next line down, I'm going to put the Lumark in here, in brackets, just like you see in the, uh, in the specs, Lumark. All right, since I've already created the M text, I'm just going to copy it down. And then for type number C, we'll go to the project specs again. This is type number C which is the uh, compact fluorescent that we're using in the corridors. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste. And uh, these are halo, so we're going to change that to halo. Okay, next thing we're going to do, according to our uh, instructions, next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, enter the mounting types for each light. So you have two choices here, recessed or suspended. So this one here, this is a LED that's recessed into the surface. Or sorry, recessed. Yeah, so it's going to be the recessed version here. Recessed into the ceiling. Let me copy this all the way down. These ones are the uh, ones in the shop. These are actually suspended from the ceiling. And then number C, these are also recessed into the ceiling. So recessed means that it's flush, you know, the light is flush with the uh, T-bar ceiling. If it's suspended, it means it's suspended down from the ceiling. It's not actually flush with the ceiling. Okay, so they'll be actually suspended down. The LED, they're flush with the uh, T-bar uh, ceiling, as well as the uh, light type C, those compact fluorescents. And the only ones that are suspended are in room 14. Those, those uh, metal halide 250 watt luminaires. The voltage, this is the voltage that each of these lights operate on. It should be 120 volts for each one. Because that is the line voltage of our three phase electricity. The line, the line or sorry, the phase voltage, not the line voltage. The phase voltage. For size, what we're looking for here is we're actually looking for the physical size of those particular luminaires. So again, I'm going to do an M text. I'm going to justify the middle center. And I'm going to come over into my uh, project specs again. And I've got the size in the project specs. So I'm literally going to copy and paste. Copy that down a few times. I'm going to go to my, uh, I'm going to edit this one here. Go to the 
size. So this is the 259 millimeters reflector. And if I want, I can put diameter on the bottom as well. Let's keep them all cap capital locks, okay? There's the actual size. And I come down here and I do type C. Again, keeping all caps locks here. All right, so the location. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at location. So for the locations, you're going to be using the room numbers where those lights are used. So for multiple rooms, such as offices, you're going to use a range. So uh, we've used the um, um, this luminaire in pretty much all the offices. So the location, let me just do an M text here again. M text, I'm going to grab one corner, go to the opposite, make sure that I'm justified to the middle center. So this is going to be room um, two right through till which room does it end? I think, uh, let me just look at the plans here. 12, 13, yeah, we go right up to room 13. Uh, and room 15, actually. Room 12, sorry. Uh, room 14 is not included in that list, so I'm going to split the list up into two. So we're going to go room 2 to 13, as well as 15. Copy that down. Where we use those suspended, that's room 14 only. And where we use the uh, this type light is room 1. That's it, in the foyer. I mean, if you want to, you could actually say room 1. Also put in brackets the foyer as well, or in the corridor, whatever you want. Number of lamps. That's the next one here. So again, justification, middle center, once I do my M text, number of lamps is one. LED only has one lamp. And actually, for all of them, it's the same thing. They all just have one lamp. Now, in the case where you use the fluorescent fixture that has two fluorescent bulbs, then you, that you would put two there. If you want to know what lamp type you were using, I don't know if we have that in the specs or not. Let me check. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's in, it's in this information. Here's the lamp type right here. Okay, so um, if we're looking at the compact fluorescent, the lamp type is 42WTTT. So again, I'm going to create another M text item. Okay, let's go to the, uh, if we're looking at the LEDs, it's going to be L8835 equals 3500. So that's what we'll put in here, justification, middle center, L85 equals 3500 okay and that's going to uh, that's going to be for the LED we now look at type B which is room 14 and this is going to be a 250 watt pulse start metal halide Let's see if we can fit all that text in here and see if we can uh, get it to fit on one line or two There you are. And the last one, this is that uh, 42WTTT, so let's scroll up, grab that one. We don't need the number of lumens, don't worry about that, so don't copy everything from the table, just the, uh, the bulb types. So there's your luminaire schedule.